Guys, what are we gonna talk about? Well, we're gonna talk about small gentlemen's folders. Now this one did not make the list, but you can see on the table, I have picked out five knives that I think are really good gentlemen's folders. Um, I just didn't want to do too many. There's other ones that definitely could make the list, but I thought that these are ones that hold up really well as pocket carry, pocket friendly gentleman folders for like an office workspace. So let's turn this around. We're gonna take a look at these five knives individually and take a look at them from above. Guys, like I said in the intro, I went through what's here, what I own, what's on loan. All of these are currently mine, um, but these are all available as of the time of filming right now. So they'll be, they will be purchase links below. We're gonna start with this X1 Mini Flip by Hogue Knives. So let's get all this other stuff out of the way and take a look at this one. So I picked this one because it is a very, very utilitarian style knife for an office person. This would be great, but it also fits a lot of other bills. This is an Elijah design. It's in CPM 154, and it is a nice Warren esque style um, blade in a button lock aluminum folder that has a really, really good action. Now I picked this one because it's very small and it has a lot of benefits to it being a smaller knife and being easy to carry. So if you're somebody that works in an office, this thing would be great. It sits pretty well, it's nice and light. It does not take up a lot of space. But the fact is, if you need to use it, you've got a very, very good blade. You've got really good purchase on it. It's not going to go anywhere. It's really good for opening packages, cutting things out if you're in an office setting. And it is very, very light because it's aluminum on this button lock and it has had a little bit of material moved out because, well, not necessarily material move out, it's a little bit lighter because this backspacer is not made out of metal. So you wind up with a really light package that's not going to bother you in a pair of trousers or like slacks or something like that that you're wearing at work if you work in an office. It also has got really good action and a secondary lock if you're worried about it coming unlocked. It definitely is a lot of fun and it has some of the most unique sound to it it is a very fidgety and fun knife so if you're looking for a good little work knife that's not necessarily like your fancy you know gentleman carry that you want something that's kind of fancy this might be up your alley so there you go the hogue x1 mini flip this does come in a larger version this is just the one i like the x1 mf so there you go Let's move on to the next one, which is gonna be the Cansep Prickle, which a lot of people are gonna say, well, that's not really a gentleman's folder, but it meets the requirements. It meets that criteria. It's a nice small knife. It's attractive. It doesn't take up a lot of space. This version of it is not as heavy as some of the other versions. There is an all copper version that is very heavy. It's got a very functional blade that's ground down nice and thin, and it's really comfortable to do a lot of things with. This meets a lot of needs that you could get away with carrying this as your sole EDC. Um, on top of that, it's really, like I said, really attractive, but it's really comfortable, nice and well balanced. It's got all the things you would want. It's got really good jimping on a good portion of blade if you did have to do some heavy cutting. And something like this that's nice and thin, if you happen to need to cut some zip ties, this allows you to get up under and pop under it. Uh, you've got some really good handle material on this with this checkered G10 and then these liners. I love the way this one looks. I think this is one that definitely is kind of looking a little more elegant than some of the others the other versions of it. It is a front flipper only, and it does not have a reversible clip, but it is really a very nice option. It's got really good action, surprisingly comfortable. And like I said, even though this is a fairly thick blade stock and it's not a broad blade, it comes down nice and thin behind the edge and gives you a very good long cutting surface. So if you're opening packages or letters and things like that in the office, this might be one that you would wanna look for. Um, and like I said, with the pocket clip, the pocket clip's not too tight. It's not real aggressive. It would be something that would fit in slacks of like a suit or something like that really well. Or even down inside the inside pocket of a jacket, you know, like a bit like a, like a, uh, 
you know, like a, a businessman's jacket or inside a vest or something like that. So like a sports jacket or something like that. So yeah, really good looking knife. There you go. They can set prickle. There's your number two. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You guys caught me doing a little bit of housekeeping in between videos. Well, since you're here, let's do a quick talk about something. This is one of my favorite affiliates that I have. This is Coffee Brand Coffee. You can save 5% on your overall order if you use my coupon code Crazy Sharp at checkout. So go check them out. This is the best flavored coffee I've ever had. Number three is a knife that was meant for this list. Sorry about the little interruption between uh, segments. This is the Ferrum Forge Gent. I mean, in the name right there. Uh, this was their first small budget folder that they did. They had done the Crux, and then they came out with this one. This was a lot more budget, but this is a very nice, a very thin knife, a very thin profile, really comfortable in hand. And like I said, it's it's got a lot of things going for it. It's got a really thin pocket clip that doesn't take up much space, so you can put this in the, like the, the back edge of a pocket in a pair of slacks. You could also put this, like I said, in the pocket of a sports jacket. Nice deep carry so you don't have a lot of knife sticking out. It does have a reversible pocket clip if that's something you're looking for. And the fact is you can definitely carry this being a very light knife because these scales on the outside reduce the weight. It is a liner lock that carries really well. But then you get into this this s35 vn blade that is ground really well the heat treat on it's done really well and it's a very very functional very versatile blade shape so you got some belly you've got a nice flat and like i said comfortable in hand you can get up behind there on that choil if you need to do some heavy cutting but the size of it and the shape of it lets you get way up on it if you need to cut around something um, so you could do some fine detail cutting, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful looking knife. Mine has been customized. My buddy Nico, uh, absolutely did this for me. Um, if you are interested in this, Nico might still be able to do something like that for you. He could get you a price to do some hydro dipping hydrographics on your knives, but yeah, action on it is really good. It's one of the better budget knives out there in my opinion, and they're still available. So like I said, links for these knives will be down there in the description and in a pinned comment. Easy to take apart, easy to maintenance, really just an all-around great knife. So there you go. The Ferrum Forge Drop Gent. I think you guys knew we were not going to do a gentleman's folder, folder video without the CGRB Rhea showing up. I know that a lot of people are like, man, this is in so many videos. It is just a great knife overall. It is one of my favorite small little gentleman's folders, and it is a very very attractive package nice pocket clip this is not the pocket clip that comes with it but you can purchase this pocket clip from artisan and cgrb um but you have beautiful functional great great little blade here in our ARRPM 9 it's really rust resistant the micarta is great you can always clean it up if you don't like the oils and stuff on it mine gets carried enough that it just doesn't make any sense to try and clean it but you have a lot of little elegant features. It's a nice thin knife, but you've got really polished liners that stick out. They're kind of shadow boxed. The scales are shadow boxed in the liners. And so you have that polished pop. The blade is great. Oh, I missed the thumb stud. The blade is great, super, super functional. And it is not a huge package. It does not at all look aggressive. Something that would be at home in a suit or at an office really open and nice and light because not only is it light on hardware as you can see uh, it also has had some weight reduction done inside now these do come with a little pin for a lanyard if you needed to do it it would go right there i took mine out um, but it the when you get them from the factory they do have an option for a lanyard but nice and thin and comfortable in hand so you can do some fine detail cutting cleaning up around stuff and like I said, not something that would be out of place in an office. If you pulled this out, it would not ring any bells and set anybody a running. So there you go. There is your fourth one, the CJRB Rhea. And your final knife for this compilation is the Monterey Bay Knives Slayback. Now this is a great, great knife for the fact that it is incredibly light. Carbon fiber, titanium, titanium, and then you have this beautiful um, Warren Cliff blade that comes down 
with this beautiful blade. It's done in a laminated steel. You got a 420J jacket on the outside with ZDP 189 at 67 Rockwell on the inside. Uh, this is the same steel, that the jacket on the same steel that Kami Koto uses for their knives. But the carbon fiber makes it incredibly light and nimble. And that blade is suited to so many things and it just naturally has that utility knife feel to it. So if you work in a scenario where you would typically use a utility knife, but you're in an office setting, you still have that available to you, but you can use it for so many other things. The ZDP 189 is gonna hold up to any tasks you're gonna put it through. The pocket clip on it, super, super comfortable and functional and attractive. This knife is a very attractive knife. That's why I like to say these little gentlemen's folders are great because they definitely, they definitely don't look aggressive and they are kind of like a little bit of pocket jewelry. On top of the fact that this knife is light because of the carbon fiber, they've actually even removed some of the carbon fiber here. So flipping action on it's really good. It's on bearings. The Monterey Bay knives are always great. Liner locks, so like I said, thin liners, so you've got a, you're gonna have something that's already light, even lighter due to the, to the nature of the internals. And like I said, super, super good. Sharpening on this, you can, you can absolutely sharpen this on a lot of stones. Even though it's very hard, it is easy to sharpen. I have not had any issues sharpening this. And like I said, all around super, super great knife. Nice little flat, or a flat spot there as a thumb ramp, and then like I said, up on top of it. Super great, I love this knife. It's one of my favorite knives ever. And it's a Laconico design, so you knew I was gonna love it. So there you go, guys, that's our five knives. Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys, there was five of the best gentlemen's folders that I currently have either on loan or in my collection here at the house. Uh, it's, it's hard to pick out just five. I could have went a lot further, like I said, I had, I had the Stinger uh, and I had a couple others that I were gonna, was gonna throw in, but if I was to pick out all the good, crazy good gentleman folders on the market, uh, this would have been a very, very long video. So that being said, guys, if you like the videos, please give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please tell me why I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. I will say that liking a video is the best thing you can do for a video or for a channel. Those interactions are important. YouTube absolutely tracks them. If you guys have watched a video for more than 30 seconds and you haven't dropped a like or a dislike, either one's an interaction, it does not matter, uh, then shame on you because YouTube does not know how to classify those videos if you don't tell them. So it's one of the biggest things you can do for any channel. Um, like I said, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure you've got it set to all, even though they're only gonna tell you about three uploads. That's why I only do three at most. Um, and if you do hit that bell icon, make sure you get notifications turned on your device. If you wanna support the channel financially, there are a ton of ways down below. My affiliate links are one of the best ways to financially support the channel because you're already gonna do some shopping and it doesn't cost you anything at checkout. A lot of people think that they can only use the links that are down there in the description if they're looking for those items. That is not true. If you're going shopping for anything, click on one of those links, be it shampoo, prunes or paint. It does not matter. I still get credit for all of it. It just logs you into my affiliate store. That's what it basically does. Um, there's a couple of them that have discounts. Coffee Brand Coffee, Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is 85% off through the holidays. Uh, other ways you can do it, I have a membership. It's all tier-based. Baseline and premium guys are automatically entered into a giveaway that I do on the Gilded server. Everyone has access to the Gilded server, which is just like Discord. And the premium guys have uh, access to a uh, sharpening tutorial series that I've done here on YouTube that's only available behind that paywall. And I do have a merchandise store over on Ember Shirt Co. is the final way you can support. You can use my coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, saves you 10% at checkout. And if you purchase my merchandise, I will put a picture of you in the background if you send it to me. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Uh, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.